Drake, would you just explain to people how do you download an app and scan a QR code. We're here at Sola Coffee Shop live in the little local owned business and I'm just grabbing you to just explain it. Thanks Martin, I really appreciate that. Hi, I'm Drake Ledoux, I'm the mobile madman and uh, I'm gonna explain to you how to uh, download a QR app and uh, scan a QR. QRs are a lot of fun and uh, better than anything else, they actually give you a lot of great deals. So the first thing you need to do is whether you're on Android or on an iPhone platform or an iPhone phone, uh, you have to go to your market uh, or Google Play and uh, Google Play looks just like that okay and on iPhone it'll be the iStore uh, and you'll come up and it'll load and you'll go to search up here at the top and you'll type in QR okay and just hit search and you're gonna come up with a bunch of choices. Yeah. I recommend QR Droid for your Android platform. It's a great, uh, great little tool. There's a lot of other things for you. But there's other tools like uh, Google Goggles, which is also great as well. So then you just install it by clicking it. I've already got it installed, so it's asking me uh, if I want to open it. But you would have a button here that says install. And then you, once it's installed, you hit open. You find your QR. There's a okay. QR code, yep. and then and hold it in you front. hold your phone in place, and in less than a second, it should pick it up. And what it does is, it's going to bring you to a place. Ah, and that's in this great. Case, this is my mobile business card. Now, oh, sometimes it will say, do you want to open this link? Yes, So that's an important piece to uh, bring over. As a matter of fact, uh, it will if you just, once you load it onto your screen. There we go. See that? Okay. There we go. Uh, I always recommend scanning from people or from businesses and brands that you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the best thing to do. If you don't know it, don't scan it. So. And then sometimes they'll ask, uh, do you want to share your location? Yeah. So as explain a that fact, a little bit too. Sure. As a matter of fact, it will ask you to share your location. Uh, I know everybody thinks Big Brother's watching, but you're on a mobile device, and I'm sorry to tell you that's way beyond that statement. <laughs> so uh, there are a lot of benefits to sharing your location. Number one uh, is that people, uh, businesses can give you exactly what you want and need at the time when you're near them uh, and tell you about information of what's going on. But the other is, uh, by sharing your location, uh, there's a lot of safety, uh, good things from a safety standpoint is that if for some reason you can get hurt or there's a need and somebody needs to find you, the fact that your scan has been recorded, somebody can get you in time. And that may seem silly, but it's actually helped a lot of people and saved some lives in the past. Uh, and then there's a whole other, re whole other bunch of reasons why you probably want to share your location. So uh, it gives everybody some good analytics so they can communicate with you the way you want to communicate with them. That's so, the real benefit. So basically the key thing is get your key, your scanner. We'll list several below in the text area. And then start looking for things that are known and trusted areas to scan. That's why it's also important, isn't it, Drake, to, to not have a QR code that just go, on, on a document, you aren't telling where they're going, which you see all the time. Once again, you make it's no different than the internet. Uh, if you get a link to somewhere that you don't know, you're probably less likely to open it. Well, this is the same type of process. You, if you don't know the QR code, if it's not on a brand package, or it's not from a document that a friend sent you, or um, anything like that, or if it's not branded, as you can see here, this is a branded QR mm -hmm. with our company colors, the red, the X, and this, and we're a reputable company. Uh, same thing with anybody else. You want to make sure that you're scanning something that's not going to be detrimental to your, to your system. Great. So. Well, thanks for this simple explanation. Some people just didn't know how to uh, scan a simple QR code with it. And uh, look for the text and comments below. Thank you very much.